Hi, I'm Chris Soterikopoulos, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Fellow of Applied Functional Science. Here today to talk to you about the benefits of myofascial decompression, or what some people think is called cupping. Uh, you saw it last year during the Summer Olympics with Michael Phelps and the swimmers. They had those big circles on their bodies, and, and people often wondered, well, what the heck is that, and how is that beneficial? Could that actually help me? Uh, before we get going any further, I just want to give a shout out to Dr. Christopher DePrado down at the Barrier Sports, who actually taught me this technique. I've been utilizing it since uh, he's taught me, and it's been instrumental in, in the progress and help that I've seen in my patients. Today we have Elise here with us uh, to kind of be our model, and so you'll kind of get a first-hand look on the power of uh, decompression and what the cups can do, and what a treatment session typically looks like. What's great about it is it usually takes about three to five minutes um, to have the cups on, and the effects that you feel afterwards is pretty instantaneous. You'll start feeling a lot more motion, a lot more loose, and just that, that things really help really quickly. Uh, a lot of people that are in car accidents usually get the biggest bang for their buck, or even people that are desk workers, you know, sitting at a computer, dental hygienist or a dental assistant usually I've had, that, that they've really seen the effect, and it lasts usually for about a week or so. So what we're going to do is with Elise, we'll have her sit and face that way. We'll just go through a couple techniques that I usually do. And that's going to be, we're going to imagine that Elise is a desk worker, nine to five, five days a week. She sits at a desk, does computer work. So she gets all this muscle tension kind of through here, up into the neck, maybe even gets some, a little bit of headaches. And so touching on her, you can kind of feel some tension through the upper traps and down into that fascia that goes into the thoracic spine. And really what happens is when you have that tension, it just kind of balls up and it kind of stays there and it just doesn't move. And why that happens is because of the position and because gravity is constantly pulling her shoulders, her chest, her head down, that muscle and tissue basically stays lengthened for a very long period of time, 40 hours a week, maybe even more. One question I ask a lot of my patients is, is how often do you raise your hands above your head? A lot of them can think back and be like, oh, you know what? Maybe once a month, maybe, right? And so what that means is it really paints a picture for how that tissue is just being stressed every day, right? And if that tissue is basically stretched out every day and it never actually contracts, well, are we actually stimulating that tissue and getting blood flow, getting nutrients to that tissue on a regular basis? And increasing that demand so it stays healthy and happy? And to answer that question is probably not, not as much as we, we probably should be, right? And so what the cups are gonna do is, it, is you're gonna take congested area, we're gonna put some decompression cups on it, and we're gonna kinda lift that skin up, that, that tissue that's not moving, we're just gonna lift it up, and then we're gonna do a series of movements or stretches to kinda pull at it, and just kinda loosen it up, pull at different directions. So then when we let go of the cup, it just kind of lets go of that tissue. And as you can see on my shirt, it's just maybe a little bit more mobile. And then even just that stimulation is going to increase the blood flow. So it's going to feel really good afterwards. In the moment that the cups are on, I will admit that they do kind of hurt a little bit. But again, it's only three to five minutes and the effect is pretty instantaneous. So for at least what we're going to do is we'll just do a very generic and basic approach. And we'll just say that she has it on both sides. So what I like to do is we usually like to do one cup kind of right here, thoracic spine. There we go. And that's kind of what it will look like. So it's kind of crazy. It takes into the, the principles of like old ancient Chinese cupping methods. And then Dr. DePrado was uh, able to kind of utilize this technique along with movement to kind of get that, that fascial tissue mobility to improve. So then we're gonna go right here, kind of, usually this is where people feel the tightest. Okay, and then that's just gonna be that. We're gonna go both sides, because we're, again, we're just gonna imagine that she has it on both sides. This one fell off because I knocked it off. That was my fault. Okay. Good. Okay, and actually that's probably good right there. So even just with those two, that's enough. Like, we don't need to do a whole bunch. And really what we wanna do is we wanna think of that fascial line, and fascial trains, and where do they run, and how do we wanna release them. And so that's where I'm gonna start with Elise. And what I'm gonna have Elise do now is on this table here, we'll just have you go into all fours, quadruped position. So we'll go hands and, and knees. 
okay? And then from there, we're just gonna kind of take her, her rear end and just kind of sit back, like you're gonna put your butt on your heels. Yep, and we're just gonna kind of look down. That's the same effect as raising your hands over your head. So we're taking that tissue and we're asking it to contract a little bit. So right now, just by her rocking back and forth, we'll maybe do that five times. We're just gonna really get that tissue to move in a way that it's probably not moving on a regular basis. Good. We'll say that's three, four, and five. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one hand and we're just gonna have her cross it over the other hand. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna do the same thing. And now what she's gonna feel, she's gonna feel kind of all on one side. Okay, from that top down tweak, we're just now taking that tissue and we're asking it to get pulled at a different direction, a different angle, right? The velocity she's going or the speed she's performing the activity is okay. Not, a lot, not everybody can sit all the way down. Some people go less movement, but that's okay. Again, the, the goal is to stimulate the tissue, get it a little bit more mobile, and then try to get it to move a little bit. Okay, and then we'll go both hands on the other side. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. Perfect, that looks great. That looks great. Now at home without the cups, this is also a stretch I probably would give at least anyway for home. Again, just to get that tissue to shorten and contract up through that upper trap where she's feeling most of her symptoms. And then also it gets some of that shoulder blade, thoracic spine tissue to move as well. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Go ahead and sit here. Okay. And actually, let's sit facing that way for us just so we can kind of see the effect. So if you come in with the camera here and kind of take a look at the cups, what's gonna happen is we're gonna release these things. And what you're gonna see is that tissue is just gonna kind of relax and really start to flow a little bit. So go ahead and just watch around here and then you can just see it. Just kind of, whoo, kind of shut down. And so imagine if this tissue is really tight and balled up, this is a technique that can kind of just get it to, to move again, okay? After that, yes, it will leave a mark maybe on some people for about three to five days, maybe up to a week, okay? But as long as they're not going to any formal dress, <laughs> dances or anything like that, it should be okay. But at least, how does it feel? Yes, sir. Yeah, and that's usually how it will feel. Treatment sessions are usually about that long. The effects are instantaneous. People usually feel looser, more mobile, less tension. So if you have any questions about this technique or you're interested in giving a shot, Go ahead and shoot me an email at chris at thinkvita.com. We can maybe set you up in the clinic or some other options for you as well. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.